Hey squad, welcome back. Now as far as I'm concerned, free stuff is always great. However, what's even better is high quality free stuff. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. We're going to be exploring the incredible Spitfire Audio Labs plugin suite that you can download for free right now. Now Spitfire Audio are responsible for producing plugins and sample packs for top producers and film composers. But they also have an amazing range of plugins that you can download right now and plug straight into your door, whatever you're using and access these high quality samples. So I'll be showing you how you can use these as well as how you can download and install them into your door. Now remember, if you find value in my videos, don't forget to support me by liking the video, leaving me a comment and subscribing to the channel. That will really help me out. You can also check out my music on Spotify and join me on Patreon. Links will be below. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so Spitfire Audio Labs comes with an amazing array of instruments, sounds, textures. That's going to keep you busy for a very good while. Okay, these are just some of the sounds that I've got here. So these are the ones that I've got installed already. These are the ones not installed, which I can install. And remember, all of these are free. We're going to go through and sample one or two so you can have a listen to the textures that we're talking about. But the quality of the sounds are outstanding. Another thing to note is Labs is compatible with pretty much every door out there. So VST2, VST3 audio units and WX for Pro Tools. Okay, so it's something that every one of you can definitely use. So let's quickly go through how these are loaded up into your door and then I'll show you how you can install the suite. So in Logic, you can load this up into your track under the audio units tab like so. And this is the default user interface. Now, if you come up here, click the down arrow, you'll see you've got all of the sound categories right here, uh, which you can go through. The top one is called starred. So it's, this is sort of your favorites. So if you favorited anything, that will appear under starred. So if I click it now, I've got nothing starred. I can release that. However, if I went to piano and I selected this whirly chorus, select that, switch these off click start there's my whirly chorus so you can go through and find your favorites and store them like so so like i said you've got all of these categories under piano for example you can go to this electric piano and we can audition by clicking here and that'll give you an idea of the texture and feel of the sounds so let's try this one right here okay in terms of filtering you've got to you want to make sure that you need to switch things on and off. If you want your results to combine two categories, well, you might click something like vocals and keys, for example. So here's the vocal patch and here are your keys patches. So keep that in mind. Anyway, drums. Obviously that's a sample of a single drum, but I can load up a drum kit now. I've selected drums, hit load, and my drum kit's loaded. Okay, so a pretty decent drum kit there. We'll look at these controls in a minute. Let's go back to the main menu. I hit clear. I'm gonna go for this one. And I've got electric piano chorus. So I'm gonna select that. Let's audition this one, chorus. Okay, we'll, we're gonna load this one up. And let's have a quick listen to how it sounds. Not bad at all, really nice actually. Whilst that's playing, we can scroll through and try different sounds. So really easy to scroll through and the sound quality is fantastic. These sounds are incredible. Now, with regards to these controls right here, 
let me just show you what these do. So let me run this from the top again and I'll show you. So of course this one's your volume control. In fact, let's go back to, let's go back to here maybe. Okay, so super soft whirly chorus. What, what a beautiful sound. And this one here, this control here is your dynamics control. So it's almost like the intensity or the velocity with which the notes are being struck. So let, let's adjust this as we go through. So down this end, it's much more softly played, whereas at the top, is the, your, the notes are being struck a bit more intensely. So let's go somewhere in the middle, like here. Okay, so now we've got this control right here. So if we click in the middle, we'll see we've got three additional controls. We've got the reverb, tightness, and variation. So reverb, I'm sure you understand. So if we were to press play, Okay, so that's your reverb. So let's check out the tightness real quick. The more you increase this, the tighter the sound is. And the last one, of course, is variation. And that allows for a more natural sounding instrument, okay, in terms of tone variation. Right, so those are the controls, really simple, very basic. So let's go back now to the main menu. Now these are only the instruments or the sounds that I have currently loaded. There are a ton more that I can load. I've got all these pads under synth. So let's audition that. Um, violins. Okay, now you can go ahead and you can explore and the load times are very, very quick. You can also monitor the CPU usage. So let's go back to our keys and let's monitor what's going on at the top here. So as you can see, very low CPU usage. Over here, you've got MIDI channel selections, You've got tuning, pan, and overall volume control. Plus you can adjust all of this here as well. At the bottom, you've got a virtual keyboard. You've got like a pitch bend control and the modulation control is mapped to this slider right here. Okay, so in terms of installing this plugin suite, you wanna to go to spitfireaudio.com. You can have a browse of the homepage. Now what we wanna do is go to labs. And as you can see, labs are free. You have a little read about what the labs suite is all about. But down here is where you've got all of your categories um, and all of this is free stuff, all right? You can go through, you can audition. So mandolin right here. Now that's the quality of the sound set that you're getting. Trumpet feels. Anyway, you can explore that yourself. You've also got this one right here, which has recently come out, I believe, BBC Symphony Orchestra. This is the cut down version of their massive pack, which you can buy for 49 pounds, UK pounds, or get for free. If you click free here, click free, all you need to do is create a login, fill out a questionnaire, and then they'll send you the free download within a few days. Okay, how great is that? But anyway, just going back to labs, let's go back to labs. And then of course, like I said, you need to create a login. So I've already got a login, so I'm just going to hit login there. First thing you need to download is the Spitfire Audio app. So you can download it for Mac here or for Windows here. And once that's downloaded, uh, this is what we're talking about. This is the Spitfire Audio app. And then once that's come down, it will then be populated with all of the available sound packs which you can then go ahead 
and download. So like I said, these ones here, I haven't installed yet. These ones I have. So let's go for one of these. Let's see, for example, how about piano pads? It tells us what's great as well. It tells us the size of the actual pack. So you can determine whether or not you have sufficient hard drive space for this. So I'm just gonna hit install. You're now asked where do you wanna to install to? So I'm just gonna download um, to this location right here and hit download like so. Okay, so once the download has completed, you will scroll through your installed packs. And right here, as you can see, we've got piano pads sitting inside our Spitfire audio app. You can then load up another instance of labs in your door and then go to piano. And the piano, if I was to scroll down now, I'll see, there we go. Piano pads, I can audition. Um, in fact, let's load this one up, load that up and let's have a listen. Okay, brilliant. Yes, it's actually that simple. So like I said, there are tons of different packs you can download and install. And of course, within each pack, you've got a number of quality instruments or patches that you can experiment with. You cannot go wrong with this, this pack at all. Very useful, high quality plugins for free. Great stuff. I really do hope you found the video useful. If you did, drop me a line in the comment section, like the video and subscribe to the channel. This will really help me out. Now remember to support me at dospeeds.com as well as on my social media channels. And finally, switch on that notification bell so just like the rest of the MTTC squad, you'll find out as soon as my next video drops. Until next time, I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.